Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Foster in 2013. Whatever has happened so far is what has happened so far. That was fostered in 2012. So let's talk a little bit about what happens from here onwards. Like I said right in the beginning, we are making a lot of changes. And some of those changes I have actually seen already be happening while you were, you know, sitting in the audiences or whether you were hacking on something upstairs on the first floor or you're just sitting around and discussing with people. The question is, what can I do? What should I do? And that's exactly where it is. It starts now. For the next one year, everyone in this audience is going to remember what they saw at, uh, at this event. And you are going to do something extraordinary. You're going to do something that's different from what you have done in the past. You're going to try, no, you're going to succeed in becoming one of those people that you uh, so admired sitting in the audience or just looking over their shoulder. You're going to do something. It doesn't matter uh, what it is. It doesn't necessarily even have to be a piece of code. It doesn't have to be a program. It doesn't have to be a piece of software at all but it would be something to do with technology in some way or the other. You have a year to think of something, start working on it, involve other people, make sure as far as possible that it is open source, it is licensed in a way so that other people can participate. And next year, when you come back to this event, you will come and tell us what you did. Because, like I also said in the beginning of this event, we only provide the platform. The content comes from you. It comes from the people who attend this event. It's the people who come and stand on stage and talk about what they have done. And it comes from the people who get influenced by what they see around here. Next year, I would love to see Everyone come back and meet up with us and tell us, hey, this is what we did. We'll put out our call for participation as early as possible. Please put in your thing, even if it's just a note saying, this is what I have been doing, this is what I'm working on, this is what I want to be able to talk about. Okay, the time for taking instructions from your superiors is over. Anyone who comes to Foster Day and goes back a changed person because you have seen what other people have been able to do and these people are no different from you. They are no smarter than you. They are not any more brilliant than you. They are exactly like you. The only difference is they went and did something. Now it's your turn. So next year, when we meet again, I expect to hear from each and every one of you, telling me that, yes, I was at Foster in 2012, and this is what I did in the year since then. And share that. Let other people understand that. Let other people also get involved. We don't want Foster in to be uh, the beginning of something. We want it to be the culmination of something. If you have seen the promo, uh, that we had done a few years ago. Um, it's there on YouTube. You can just look for it. And in one particular uh, segment of that promo, Shreya says exactly this. We don't want Fostered In to be something where something starts and then never begins. We want Fostered In to be something where people come together and say, this is what we have done. So you don't have to necessarily stand up and say, yes, I will do that. But promise, not to me, but promise it to yourself that you are going to give this an honest shot. There are a lot of people around here with whom you can interact. Even after the event is over, 
you have made a lot of new friends, you have made a lot of new, uh, you have met a lot of new people, you have got, seen ideas happening and all around. We want you to use that opportunity to become like one of those people whom you admired so much and sat and listened to for the past three days. Because that is what Fast Ordering is about. If somebody asks us, what's in it for you? What's in it for us is when one of you comes to us and tells us, look, this is what I did. And I started, I mean, I got the idea at Fast Ordering. This is, I've been working on, on the whole year through, and here I've come to show you this. So make this promise to yourself, and next year, I hope to see a lot of stuff from everyone. As far as this event is concerned, it's, well, it has come to an end. It's been a great three days, and uh, honestly speaking, it went off far better than any of us had believed, most of all me. With the, so many things being thrown at us, so many spanners being thrown in the works, uh, you know, sponsor, financing, health, whatever. All these issues getting thrown at us, I never thought this would happen. And it did. And it happened because in the end, we can throw a party. It's not a party until somebody comes to it. And you came for it. You came for this party. And you made it a huge success. So if I have to, on behalf of the team, thank anyone, it'll start with you, the audiences. Because without you, this wouldn't have happened. Thank you. I also thank our sponsors, Citrix, uh, Red Hat, and uh, VMware. I thank them more for the extraordinary way in which they came in. When Virtually no other sponsor was willing to stand up. They came out of the blue and said, uh, we got to make this happen. This is a great event. We got to make this happen. And they made it happen. Now, uh, some people had complained about the fact that we had, uh, you know, increased the rates for the tickets. Um, not many. Actually, very few people uh, complained. But let me also clarify. This event wouldn't have happened if we wouldn't have increased the thing. For the first time in 12 years, the audiences over here have contributed more to making this event run than even the sponsors. <laughs> Almost 60% of the financing, the feeding you people for arranging all these things and where came from you, which means this is your event as it is meant to be. You made this thing happen, and you should be really proud of yourselves. Now, hopefully, I don't have to walk that tightrope. It is my job within the team to actually raise finances. I hope I don't have to walk the tightrope next year like I had to walk it this year, and that you know so much burden has to be put on other people. But I'm confident now that we can do this. We can all do it uh, together, and we can do it again and again and again. Now, this year's Fostered Inn has been different in, in some ways. Next year, it's going to be even more different. We might even change the name of the event. It doesn't mean that we're going to change the spirit. It's still going to be a hacker conference. It's still going to be a technology conference. But I want to remove the limitations that we sometimes have to face. One of those limitations, even though I hate saying this, is that our name says Fostered in, so that people assume the only thing that works or is done over here is FOSS. It isn't. The thing that's done over here is people getting involved in technology, and FOSS is a huge part of that, but it's not the only part. It doesn't mean that you come and start writing Windows programs uh, for proprietary uh, stuff. No, that's not, never going to happen around here. But this deeper understanding of technology for example, Ulrich Trepper's tutorial on C++. It really is not about open source. It's about technology. It's about science that you use, tools that you use. 
whether you're using it in an open source world or in a closed source world. You learn something from that. This is what we are trying to do. Get people more and more and more involved in this. But at all times, remember our origins. Remember where we come from. And remember where we are going. I said in the beginning that FOSS has become mainstream right now. Absolutely mainstream. In fact, so much mainstream that if somebody would turn off the FOSS tap, the technology industry would collapse instantaneously. Whether it's a space flight or a space shuttle or a, a space station or um, some kind of robot or whatever you can think of, FOSS is everywhere. And you can no longer take it out of the equation. So in many ways, this is a war we won. Now it is time to take it further. And that's what we are going to try to do over the next few years. We are not yet quite sure on how we are going to do this, but we will put it out for discussion, let people come up with ideas as well. If you can think of a great name, please do. Uh, that is more, you know, uh, representative of what we are trying to do. Otherwise, we'll just stick with the name and foster. And as long as you promise me that you're not going to go around and uh, start yelling at a person just because he's using a Mac or a Windows machine. That, ladies and gentlemen, is history. People who come to our event don't come here to be, to be told that they are stupid. The smartest thing they ever did was to come to this event in the first place. Honor that. So I do not want to hear, like I unfortunately had to hear a couple of times, comments about using closed source for this or having a Windows uh, notebook or using a Mac or using a whatever. I don't want to hear comments like that because that's silly. These people have come over here just like you to learn. It's important that we keep the spirit alive. So like I said, you know, bashing people for their choices is history doesn't happen anymore. Not at this event. What's going to happen at this event is we are going to show people how much better it can be and how many things you can do. I remember in 2010 somebody coming to me right at the end after everything was over and he said, uh, I'm using a Windows machine over here and during the uh, event somebody had shown him how to set up a VM, a Linux VM. And he for the three days, he had been just playing around with that. He would still be using Linux, because, uh, win Windows, because he was going to be using it at work. And it was a work-issued uh, uh, laptop. But for the first time, he was able to play around with Linux as well, without you know, breaking any rules or without doing anything that uh, would endanger the company he was working for. I know where that person is today. He has left that company. He's actually working in a company where he's working 100% on Linux right now. This, this is the kind of effect we want to have. Show people how to take technology, how to take something, and take it beyond what it was designed for. That, ladies and gentlemen, is called hacking. And that's what we do. That's what we want you to do. This is what we want you to enjoy and this is what we want you to look forward to next year when you come over here. Finally, this, we kicked off this campaign uh, with the hope of restarting Fostered In. And it turns out we've, we did a good job of it. And I'm going to be, uh, what do you call it, proud of the people who made it happen. The team that put together Fostered In at moment's notice, despite all the problems that we are running into, and despite the fact that we were at each other's throats all year through, in the end, it all came together like it has for the past 12 years. And I would like to thank, <clears throat> I would like to thank the team, team Fostered In for doing it once again. This year, this year, Team Fostered In became a lot bigger. 
I'm not talking about my waist size, became a lot bigger because people just pitched in from all over the place and helping them. One of the most clear examples of how well this works is the people with whom we have what people perceive to be a friendly competition. In a sense, we run an event, they run events. They came here and made this event even more successful than possibly imaginable. I'd like to thank the Hasgeek people. For the first time, for the first time in 12 years that we have run this event, people outside Fostad in, outside these premises, were able to follow at least part of the proceedings. Of course, they couldn't follow everything and they couldn't uh, partake in the corridor discussions and, you know, all the hack sessions and all that were going on over here. But, thanks to the Hasgig guys, uh, we not only were able to show people outside what we do over here, there's even a record of that. If you go to hasgig.tv, you can actually go and see the recorded talks. Again, this is a first for us. We didn't even know this was going to happen. They just came up and said, oh, by the way, the record, uh, talks are all recorded and you can go and see them right now. Day two is already up. It's amazing how quickly these guys work. It is terrible. Uh, a couple of months ago, I said oh, one of our biggest challenges is going to be to keep up, to match the quality at which these guys work and the events they produce. They just made it even harder. I mean, we have not been able to put up the slides yet. Okay, they have put up the videos. Okay, so make sure, make sure that you let your friends know that uh, they can go to hasgeek.tv and sample what uh, Postradin is all about, at least what happened inside this hall over here. And uh, hopefully next year we will have multiple streams going so that, you know, everything gets covered. And hopefully next year um, we will be able to maybe to make things a little interactive, especially doing the, uh, I'm getting ideas over here. This is a bad thing for me. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the problem is that when one begins to realize the possibilities of something, your thoughts start running away with you. And that's what's happening to me right now. When I imagine the possibilities of what we can do next year. So, that's it for this year, except for one small but very noisy item. In 2002, we um, started a tradition at Foster Inn. That time we were still called Linux Bangalore and later on Foster Inn um, of having a musical performance. No, not a musical performance for God's sakes. A rock show at the end of every, uh, at, at the end of the event. We once had a method, it's always on the, on the second or first day or, or whatever. And uh, this year is not going to be any different. So this year we are going to have, um, there's a bit of a coincidence, irony, whatever involved. In the sense that we have the group Lagori um, performing today. The coincidence or the irony or the happenstance is that Logori is managed by the very person who started the tradition over here of having a rock show, um, Gaurav Vaz, who was at that time playing for the group called Phenom, who in 2002, for the first time at an event like this, performed um, with his group over here. He today manages Lagori, where his brother Geet Vaz is uh, one of the members. And it's kind of like a full circle. It's all come around. 10 years later. So they're going to perform for us uh, today. It's going to be loud. You are going to dance. You're not going to be sitting in those chairs. Please don't dance on the chairs, okay? We managed to break a few chairs two years ago when Raghu Dixit was playing over here. We don't want to have that again. By all means, there are aisles. There's space here in the front. If you feel the urge to dance, by all means do. Please do not climb on the chairs and dance. Please, 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 please. 
and sorry <laughs> okay so for that i'm going to sign off uh, from the stage and hand it over to uh, lagori uh, to entertain us uh, for today thanks a lot <laughs>